It's Tuesday, which means it's time for Tuesday Tips. Our GDS fitness expert, Tasha, is back. We are talking basic gym etiquette. Is summer like a popular time for people to join gyms? It really is, and we're a little bit sweatier now, yeah. so we're gonna sure. brush up on our basic gym etiquette. Okay. Um, whether you go to the gym all the time, you just need some friendly reminders, or you're new. Maybe you just need some tips on how to, you know, yeah, approach the gym. Yeah, because a lot of people are nervous to go to the gym for the first time Agreed. and like not knowing the rules. Sure, sure. Can make you have a bad experience yeah. that, that you didn't mean to have. Right. So, so give us some tips here. Okay, so the first one is step away from the dumbbell rack. If you're doing your bicep curls and you want to look at yourself in the mirror, move away because there's a ton of sets of dumbbells, right? Okay. So someone else might want to climb in, grab their dumbbells. So, you know, you want to do the curls, move away from the rack. Okay, okay. okay. That seems like an easy one, but like people are just trying to... Sure, they don't even do think about easy. it. Yeah. yeah, they're just up there, they're hitting their bicep set and they're looking in the mirror like, ooh, my guns, but yeah. <laughs> and so they don't even think about like, step away, just move away a little bit. Okay. That's all we need. That's, That's the easy one. Okay. Yep. Next one is share the equipment. So don't hog five machines and then get really mad if someone use, wants to use one machine. Okay, so what's so, the best way to go about that? Uh, well, I mean, probably just do your set at the one machine, maybe step away, maybe you see someone, you know, standing next to you, you let them hop in, and then you kind of stay, I mean, just you know. be like, speak to someone might be a good, yeah, yeah, a good one. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you obviously probably see someone standing there waiting, yeah. so hey, do you want to jump in, or whatever it is. Okay. Like, yeah, easy and simple, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, also avoid dropping the weights, dumbbells in particular, because aside from scaring the crap out of people, <laughs> Weights bounce everywhere. Oh yeah, you can get hurt. So over be careful somebody. with that. Yeah, and you might. I mean, if you're like me and you train barefoot, you don't want to accidentally drop it on that your foot. That is not. You that would not foot. be good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this sounds so silly, and you hate to tell people this, but no, I think this one's important. <laughs> it's important. Wash your gym clothes, and particularly wash them with. Tide or soap or something like. I don't, yeah. <laughs> wash my gym clothes every time I wear them. I'm also real sweaty and real gross, so I don't even. It it blows my mind when I hear people say that they don't. Yeah. Because ew, I could like peeling my clothes off. And I think a lot of people repeat their gym clothes, like so. You know, Monday, Tuesday, they're wearing the same outfit. That's gross. And so if you're forgetting to wash it, I don't know. Even if you don't really sweat, I think you probably should wash it. I mean, yeah. come on. If you're committed yeah. to the gym. Also, don't you want to show off a different look? Also, says me. I yeah. wear the exact same thing, but I have seven versions of it. Black tank top and black pants. But I'm saying, be fashionable, get some fun clothes, wash your clothes, please. And as a fitness professional, that's one thing we don't want to bring up to you. Yeah, no, no, no. no. All yeah. right, next. Um, so the other one is smile and say hi. Okay, this one. Everyone wants to work out in a fun, friendly environment, right? Yeah. New people, you're coming in, you want to feel comfortable and welcomed, so just smile and say hi. It goes a long way. Easy peasy. All right. Don't stare or be creepy. Don't be creepy. All right. Listen. If you want to do that, go somewhere else. Just go know? online. We and might be feel creepy. a little Don't be creepy in person anymore. Come, Come on. on. Yeah, you can't wear your sunglasses. <laughs> I mean, you could in the gym, but yeah. Yeah, just go Don't somewhere else. I like that one. That would be great. Okay. All right. Use deodorant. Back to the cleanliness. Don't I smell know. up the space. Again, something I don't want to have to tell my client. Like, right. Listen, you know, you might need to put on a little deodorant. That's right. It's best for everybody, right? Okay. Also, the last one is if you want to chat, please move away from the equipment. So after you say hi, if it looks like a fun connection, Go over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, just you can chat. That's fine, but just don't stand in front of the machines or the dumbbells. Be or wary whatever. that people yeah, be aware. Okay. Speaking right. of some things, before we go, you're gonna give me some ways to roll up my yes. feet. Yes. So obviously everybody knows that she recently had surgery on her foot. Yes. So we are gonna show you one thing that you could do to get started before your workout. Let's so really warming up the feet. So I have a Naboso ball, which is almost like a or lacrosse ball, only there. it has little pyramids, so it massages your foot. Okay. Then I also have a golf ball, and then I have two golf balls that are wrapped in tape. You wanna probably start with a lacrosse ball, okay? And start at the very bottom of the toes, the forefoot, and you wanna swipe back and forth. So you're gonna go, um, the bottom of the toes all the way to the heel to begin. Okay. So we'll go forward and back here, and then we'll take it lateral, so side to side. And if you don't have one of these, you can just use a golf ball? You can use a golf ball, yeah. Okay. Um, that's going to be a little bit more intense, so you don't want to start with that. Um, okay. Well, you know what, this would be good for everyone, even if you didn't just recover from surgery to be completely 100%, honest. yeah. A minute on each foot, 
it'll get your, you know, right, it'll we'll get your fascia massage. We're going to go and talk and, to all those people at the gym. Yeah, I cannot do it yeah. on that side. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Tasha, thank you for your gym etiquette yeah, no tips. We have a bonus Father's Day. Let's try it next. Don't go anywhere.